What up? Welcome back, YouTube Camp Tree fam. We're back with a new mic'd up BO10 with our man Perf Dirt. He's an awesome dude and a great fucking fighter, man. Hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see y'all out. What's up, brother? Yo, what's good, Cam? Oh, what's up, man? Chillin', dude. Ah, I appreciate you coming here and doing this with me, man. Oh, absolutely, bro. My pleasure. So, <laughs> maybe. Nobody really knows about the warm-up because I never talk about it. <laughs> so you said in December you go to Japan, right? Well, yeah, that's... I mean, there's a travel ban, so it really is like a case-by-case case basis. But uh, my my school is, is like very, uh, what do you call it? Um, they have faith that I'll be able to play. Yeah, like they, they're, they're pushing me to apply for my shit, my visa and stuff, so I got a lot of that working right now and I'm just waiting for the results. I can take you on nice. it. You know, and that's what and, I was thinking yeah. about before, is about you going to Japan. Like, I know you said, what was it, like two years? Right. And like, that's pretty awesome, man, because like, I don't know about where you live, but me, like there's no arcades around here. Oh, there's, there's like one or two, but it's more for like... It's like Dave and Buster, you know what I mean? It's yeah, exactly, like, yeah, Dave and Buster. Playing fighting games, it's like bopping moles and like, yeah. balling, whatever it's that game the is. family arcade slash maybe yeah, adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get like chicken wings and, you know, it's not like... A fucking Japan, Japan arcade. Right? Dude, they play Tekken, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like literally live and people talking shit. Oh, I can't wait to be a part of that. Like just I'm watching the reaction that. videos in Dragon Ball Super, like, whenever he did, like, you know, the big ender move against Super Brawly, you know what I mean? And just how, like, the whole crowd reacted to the whole fucking thing. Like, that wasn't right, America, right. bro. <laughs> that wasn't America. <laughs> There's no movie theaters with Dragon Ball Super on it. Like, I think that's gonna be awesome. Well, actually, like, my FPC, they had, they rented a whole movie theater when that Brawly movie came out. So it was a bunch of just fighting game, you know, like gamers hanging out, like, there was like 50 of us watching the movie, and every time someone would power up, everyone would stand up screaming, it was pretty fun, actually. Yeah, I mean, like, that, but that's not normal, you know what I mean? Like, especially oh, for, like, yeah, you know, over here, there's was, nothing uh, like that over here, yeah. where I live. <laughs> yeah, man, that's shit. Well, you live, you live, like, what's the nearest city? Uh, see, I live, uh, actually in the capital. Of Pennsylvania, which is Harrisburg, but more shit goes down in like Philly and Pittsburgh, and right. Right. I've been to both cities, Philly and Pittsburgh. Like, and I like Pittsburgh a lot. Uh, Never really been to Philly. Pittsburgh. I only spent like in like three hours in Philly, but I spent a whole weekend. In Pittsburgh. Nice. I had fun. <laughs> See, when I played World of Warcraft, I had some friends that lived in Philly, so I'd go hang out with them. And I'd like oh, go yeah? up there for, like every other weekend for now, and like, they were in my guild that I had. Oh, I, I swear. I get it. I get it. Doing some hit things. <laughs> yeah, but I've had a lot of fun playing it. I've had a lot of fun playing it though, compared to like other characters that I've tried. Oh, I can tell, like, when you play him, I can tell you're having a little laugh. Oh, yeah. Am I dead? Nah, I don't have any balls. No! <laughs> 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 I had to oh, leave it silent for a minute, man, just to see. I wanted a DP so bad, dude. <laughs> well, I kept dashing away just seeing it. Like, if you thought if I'd move, you'd do something like that and give it to me. Oh, man. Um, I, was, I was waiting for that, that cheap side, that side I, I, I hemorrhage bars too bad, man. Like, I really do with hit. Like, I have to load them up really good if I'm going in. So, I went the other day. See, now, like, if when I come to your stream, like, I actually get a lot of talking time with you, and then, like, normally when you pop in, you come into my stream and you fuck everybody up, and then you peace out, you know, you look like a badass, you up, roll up through, and come down. And it's, like, super awesome. But it's, yeah. like, you know, 
it's like they don't really get to know you that well. They just know you're really good at attacking and you're really good at Dragon Ball. And then that's why I try to get people to, to follow you and go to your channel and see how fucking cool you are. And uh, so I was going through all your old. I went through actually every one of your your uh, your clips, your Twitch clips. I went through every single one of them. I think your oldest one was about three years old. Please. I was I was surprised, man. I was having fun going through. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was a lot. What? You, <laughs> have you gone through your Twitch clips lately? I I have like. I mean, I don't really like catch with them that like much. It's just more of like I do. You, but I haven't really. I don't know what the hell is on. Awesome. Yeah. You know, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. I felt it was not very good. <laughs> so, a couple things that I was like laughing about a little bit. It's like, so I since I've known you, you had like crazy names or like, you know, you didn't really rep that you streamed too much. But like, there was a couple of them. Like, one was uh, like Perf Dirk on Twitch, where I thought it was pretty cool. I think that was like about three years ago. And then just the ones that had TTV in your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to try to. Yeah, yeah, man. That's why I was surprised. It's like that was whenever I think you started. Yeah, I was waiting for that DP. <laughs> I was getting some traction a little bit, but like, um, I don't know. I just it because it was cool to see like how far you came. Because like I was watching you play a couple different games. Like you were playing League, uh, Borderlands 2. Uh, I was watching a lot of your Dungeons and Dragons. Like at least half your clips of your Dungeons and Dragons homies. And that was pretty cool. I used to watch Sure You Kitten play Dungeons and Dragons. That shit was fun. That shit was fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Else was there. I've seen it a couple times because of you, actually. You know. Yeah? Yeah. And then I'm there was a... Though. Huh? I never, never said it. Yeah. And then there was a Fortnite. That Fortnite screen. Like, you had a clip of you getting a headshot on Fortnite. on one of your other clips. Oh, did I? Yeah. I'm so bad at Fortnite. <laughs> that is a ter I'm a terrible Fortnite player. I'm not gonna lie. That's oh, give me one second. I need to change something on Skype for one second before we continue. Go for it. All right. So, they, so oh, you went through my Steam profile or my Twitch profile? That's crazy. Your, dude. your Twitch clips. There was a couple clips that of either an empty chair or you getting up from said chair and then the whole clip was pretty much just an empty chair. Like, there was like two or three of them. Um, people like to do that on my stream. For, I got this one guy named Nico that one of my followers. It's actually like one of the first people I really got like like into playing Dragon Ball with. Is we it Nico always... is live? No, it's a... Uh... I think his name on, like, with, like, Ligma or something. <laughs> or, like, a bunch of numbers, actually. No, it's just a bunch of numbers. His name okay. is Nico, and he's always clipping me, like, going AFK. I don't know why, but <laughs> that's, like, his thing, bro. You gotta have as soon as I go AFK, he's like, alright, I'm going to this. This is my time. Uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, one was a title, bro, and it, it hit me close, because, like, you know, I just got out of that Super Saiyan 3 slump. Where I, like, I was always super chain. I never really tried to get out of it, but it was, it was, um, the title was Watch Me Get Super Saiyan 3 Ranked Over and Over Again. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I actually vocally laughed out loud when I seen this title. Like, Bro, it's a struggle, man. <laughs> like, it was hilarious. Oh man, it was great. So yeah, a while ago, like, I would say, like, in 2016, I was actually streaming a lot. And I was streaming, uh, I was really good at Overwatch. Yeah. So oh, Overwatch. you were? I was watching. I'm gonna, oh, I watch um, all the clips for you. And, uh, yeah, like, I was, uh, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. But I was averaging, like, in between 30 and 50 viewers playing Overwatch uh, for a little bit. Like, for maybe, like, two weeks. And... It sucked because I, even though I was good Overwatch, I really sucked that game. So I had like no fun playing it. And yeah. there was one day I was playing rank, you um, know, 
uh, I like Rage Quit. Damn. <laughs> rage Quit on Overwatch. And it, uh, I Rage Quit, and then I logged off, got, got off screen, logged off, made a tweet saying, yo, I'm sorry, I know people watching for Overwatch, but I'm never playing with that again. And I never played it ever again. See, did it not give you, like, inspiration to play more having people watch you, though? Like, didn't that kind of take uh, the edge off? The well, thing is, like, I never took streaming very, like, serious, so it was more of, like... Even when you know, started getting views, you really didn't? Like, yeah, I don't... Even really though you said it wasn't very long, but still... Yeah, like, I mean, it was, like, it was, like, two weeks, but I just really hated the game, and I was, like, I'm not really gonna play this game, please. Like, I just was having fun with the game. I'm not gonna... Just for viewers, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sacrifice my time. Right. Because, like, I wasn't... I was just... Streaming for fun, really. Like it was just like a, it was just something I like to do. Right. But I mean, once you start, like, there's a lot of people that do it for fun, but like, and not, not that they never gain traction, but it's just like you know, whenever you actually do, like, I know when I did, it actually gave me more inspiration to keep doing my thing. And all of a sudden, like a year later, I'm still doing it. And, oh shit! It's been a year. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that that, that makes sense. And I, I I totally get that. Um, but for me personally, it was like. That's just how much I hated Overwatch, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, that sucks if you were good at that it. I just that game that too. much. That, like, I just didn't want to play, even for the viewers. Seriously. Fucking trunks, man. Fucking trunks. And that's why I can't yeah, was, drop uh, trunks off it was my a fucking shitty... Right, right. <laughs> it was a hard decision, though, because, like, you know, I did enjoy, like, having Chad be full and, and being able to, like, just interact all the time, but. At the end of the day, man, I just didn't want to play that game anymore. Yeah. And, uh, I knew for a fact, like, my viewership would drop. It immediately went from, like, 30 average viewers a day to, like, I was to, like, five or six. Just the real, real ones. Yeah. Oh, I didn't call my system fast enough. So, there was a black cat also in one of the clubs. There was a what? There was a black cat. Like, you were holding a key cat? I oh think, yeah, I think yeah, it was like yeah, a full yeah, yeah, I got a um, I got a black cat. You still have that cat? Oh yeah. What's her name? She's actually okay, behind her. right now. What's his name? Uh, his name is uh Captain Knuckles. Captain Knuckles. Yeah, he's from a. Uh, he's from this cartoon that I used to love as a, as a kid growing up called the uh, Flabjack. Uh, it was a Cartoon Network cartoon. Okay. But Captain Knuckles was like a, this drunk, gross pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know why, but we, I we resonated with that name and he was the perfect cat. And he's the perfect Like, that name is perfect for that cat. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that cat's an asshole. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> oh, I fucked up my quarter circle. I had it. I thought I had that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Alright, so prior to actually asking the question, what your name, like how you figured out your name, like I was trying to think oh. of what it could be. Oh. Perfect? Yeah. And I figured it had some, like, because the one time I called you Perfy, and you reacted to it differently. Wait, yeah, when you called me Perfy, like, that was just something you did? Yeah. Because my actual real name is Perfy. Like, that's my real name. What's that? Um, yeah, but Perf is just, like, Perf is just short. Like, you call me Perf all the time, but it's short. My yeah. actual name, real name is Perfy. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm level one. Oh. Oh, it still works. Okay. <laughs> oh, but yeah, <laughs> that worked. Oh god. Oh yeah, it wasn't blocking. Oh. All right, so flip dirt. Um, how I got perp dirt was in high school. I played uh, I played basketball in high school. Right. I was in my JV team and my varsity. Team. Um, not for all four years, but for, for I think three years. I th I stopped. Three years. I, was, I had neuritis. I didn't want to play basketball anymore. Right. But uh. I had, when I shoot threes, I was really good at shooting threes, first of all. Threes in, in, in a free throw. So when I shot threes, I would shoot huge ass rainbows. 
so uh, this is German basketball player named Dirk Davis. Yeah. And he shoots rainbows too. So whenever I would shoot, they would just say Perk Dirk. And I just it just stuck with me since high school. Like this is an old nickname that I that I have I've had. Yikes. <laughs> I had to do something. You were fucking me up. I had to do something. Oh, I was hoping for the reflect. I was gonna be uh, that was close. Uh, I was, I was, I was gonna press the button. <laughs> so when you go to Japan, like, do you already have like? I, I understand like this COVID thing probably really fucked up. What you either probably already had planned or the plans you worked out. Like, yeah. are you staying with friends when you get there, or is it like school dorms, or like a spot of your own? Yeah, I'm sick. I'm staying in like a, like a, they're not called a school dorm, it's called a share house. It's like, like a year school dorm, but I'll be staying with like, either foreigners or like professional Japanese people. Like, okay. So basically like, it's like a... I wouldn't say a skyscraper, but let's say like a building with like 10 stories. Each floor has like a living space that's shared in like six or seven rooms. So like you share bathroom, share no living. But uh, uh, yeah, everyone. So we're living with a bunch of like people, I guess, in that build. That's interesting. Like, uh, what do you, like, I know you've been learning Japanese for a minute now. Um, like, what are you right. going to school for over there? Uh, I want to, I want to get into logistics. Um, I really like, like, figure out how things work, like food. So figure out this how it's really cool. But ultimately, I want to. So whatever I, whatever degree I get, I'm gonna go into. Uh, like, I want to go to grad school, but that's just kind of hard. So I gotta. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Oof, I didn't do HF either. Yeah, I mean, just the whole difference of it, because I know there was a couple people that I know that have gone to Japan and just, not that they didn't have a good time, but they just weren't accepted because of their, you know, like they were like Caucasian. So they just, they weren't greeted in certain areas, like there's just certain areas they couldn't go to. You know, even if like they, they spoke the language and everything, they just like old uh, visual from back in the day, like old racism shit. And... Well, yeah, I mean, in Japan, it's 95% Japanese. Like, there's not many foreigners or people from other nationals from other countries. So it's a really, uh, what do you call it? Um, what's the word? There's a word for it, but we're like most of the country is like. You know, of that country, like America, like you know, it's super split. Even though it's mostly Caucasian in America, it's like widely split, right? It's like thirty percent, ten percent. It's not like that, and it's like ninety percent of the people you ever see between are Japanese. Yeah. Hmm. I forget what the word for it is. I know, I know the word, but. Like, but uh, yeah, they just you know, it's not like they're racist. It's just like. Japanese people are very, uh, they're into, like, how things are, are, like, they don't like to stray from the path. Yeah. Like, so they're just used to Japanese people, so it's not like they're being racist, but they're just, like, they're not going to acknowledge you because you feel, like, you know, born because they just don't want to handle the unknown, if that makes sense. Right. It's, like, really scared of difference. It's really weird. That's just weird. So my um like nineteen well I'd say probably, probably like eighteen through twenty five I was just engulfed in anime. Right. Oh shit, that was bad. And so I was just like you know that's all I did. Oh I thought I had that. Oh nice DP, that was DR. Oh. So yeah, like I said, I was engulfed in anime, and it was all uh, samurai related anime. Like my first one I picked up was uh, Rooney Kenshin. And like, I was a rough kid, man. Like I, I, I had an attitude. You know what I mean? I'd pick on. I was like a bully. You know what I mean? I was big for my age. So yeah, I was a bully. And then uh, watching something like Rooney Kenshin like kind of changed how I how I thought about things. Ah, fuck that up. You know what I mean? Because it was oh, really? like a. 
Well, because, like, you know, we're rooting, like, uh, when he was Samurai X, you know, he was the most badass, you know, Samurai killer. You know, basically, if you're on his list, that was it. And then, eventually, he was just, like, he grew up. And it was just like, damn, I killed all these people for this, and like now I gotta live with that, repent. And he's, he's trying to spend the rest of his life trying to figure out how to repent for all the people he killed. And it was like, so he still used his sword, but he used the reverse blade of it. So he couldn't kill anybody, but he could subdue people, you know, he could still be a hero in his eyes. And like, you know, he would do it without killing. And you know, he would get tempted the whole way through the series with ex people that he was also like they were also really really good assassins and like they would come back for him in the long run and like he was trying right. to still keep himself the way he is now without turning to their logic of you, you know it's kill or be killed he was like you know it's not that same anymore and the whole time like he was just fighting himself not to turn back into like Potosai the manslayer I mean and like something like that resonated with me and it just kind of started me off on that path. Like, I still have swords all over my house. Katana's everywhere. Yeah. Sashi's everywhere. I was gonna say, I'm like, you were a bully, but you watched anime? Yep. That doesn't make any sense. No. It's like, it's cause, like, Cause after a while, I, grew up? I changed. You know what I mean? Like, I changed my, my thought process. Oh, I got you, I got you. Cause when I grew up, man, like, I loved anime, but I was like, uh, I was actually like popular kid. I played sports and I was kind of like a. It might, it may, it may be hard to believe, but I was super quiet Asian kid in, uh, in high school. I mean, I'm still, I'm still an Asian kid, but I was super quiet. I'm like really talkative now, but in high school I was super quiet, kind of like, kind of self-conscious, I guess. Maybe like lacking confidence because I was Asian. Yeah. I was in the school that was mostly white, but uh. You know, I, I went to like parties a lot and stuff, but I was really into anime, but no one knew. None of my friends knew back then. And uh, there was an anime club in our high school. I remember me and my friend Phil would go to the anime club we both liked anime. Um, but we would wear hoodies and a mask, so no one knew who we were. <laughs> like a full black hoodie, a mask, like, because back then anime was so, it was so nerdy, dude. Like, like it was so frowned upon. Like now it's like anime is pretty cool now. Like it's all over it, like Twitter and shit. And everyone talks about it. Like even like like hot Instagram models are like quoting Miyazaki films and stuff. Like <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Right? Like back then I could I would never be able to fathom that. Oh no. Yep. Like the first I still have my first VHS's uh, Sword for Truth, which is my first anime I ever seen. And oh, and that uh, heavy metal 2000, which is like about some chick. Like I've never found anybody that ever seen heavy metal 2000, which is funny. Right, I read that shit. I read, I read that shit. Blockbuster back, or Blockbuster went back when uh, it was around. That shit was good, and it, that's kind of what gatewayed me between that and um, what the fuck was it? Um, uh, Ninja Scroll, that was the other one. Oh, Ninja, Ninja Scroll, Scroll was the other one I grew up on, and I was just like, you know, it changed. Like, that's what brought me into anime. Oh, man, I still remember the, uh, the beginning scene of Ninja Scroll when that guy, like, eats that tr that girl's chest. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I was, like, 10 or 11, I was like, oh, this is different. What is this? This is not cartoons. <laughs> not cartoons. Running that shit from Blockbuster. Yeah. Man, I'm showing my age. Fuck it's different, man. It hits different. It really does. And then, like, it, it progressed. So, like, you know, Rooney Kenshin isn't very flashy. It has more of, like, a, a really strong character you know, kind of shit going on. And then, eventually, it progressed into, like, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Or Full Metal Alchemist. And that one really, really was strong. You know, like the whole Brotherhood thing eventually came out. And, uh, right. This was like right before I met my wife. So I was like 22? Oh, something else. I was like 21. And I don't know. My first tattoo was Scar's tattoo. Uh, the Circle of Arcana. Oh, okay. okay. Right Arm of Destruction. And uh, I took bits of um, the original. Uh, scar tattoo and then the brotherhood version of the tattoo and I picked the parts that I liked out from both and then that's how I made my tattoo yeah. 
And that's the only tattoo I have right now. So it's like my whole right arm has the circle of Arcanum on it. And scars, circle of destruction. Yeah, I need to get some anime tattoos. I need to get some. I, got, I need some inspiration though. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get a Berserk tattoo eventually. The only reason I haven't gotten a tattoo this year is because Japan is really, uh, since I'm moving there, they're really like against tattoos. So yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I'm already gonna be a foreigner. Like, I don't wanna. You know what I mean? Like stick out even more. Already, like, yeah, exactly. But yeah, like um. And the reason I got it, it's also because of my swords and shit. Like I said, I, I practice all that shit. Like when I lived with my uh, best friend growing up, like me and him would go take shots of Everclear. Like this is the only way I could get him to do it. And I would get like a wooden katanas in the mail. And uh, he would go out there, we'd take like, we each take like two shots of Everclear and, just, and then go hard and out in his backyard. Like, <laughs> with some wood katanas. Cause like I practice swords and shit, but he didn't. But if I got him drunk enough, he would lose fear and just come at me hard. And uh, it was pretty, it was a fucking good, like, really good time. I'm gonna be trashed. <laughs> Ever clear is a bad time, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit is dangerous, dude. Yep. <laughs> That's like rubbing alcohol, I feel like. Yep. I'm a third DR there. I thought you either reflect or. Alright. Okay, Trunks. We got this still. I thought I'd grab you before you grab me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that knockdown. This might be a pixel, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's a pixel. For sure. Oh my god, it died. Backdash 2M. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What? Watch. That'd be my leg? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> you got those set up? Let's get you. DR. Oh, you tacked it. No. Oh my god. Why am I standing up? Okay, alright, okay. What's up? <laughs> what up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Round two. Surprise, huh? Surprise. <laughs> what a yeah, surprise. There's only a few other fighting games that I play, and I think it's like Soul Calibur is the only other one, and Mortal Kombat. And I, I suck. have like all of them right now, but I just don't play them. I just play Tekken and Dragon Ball, really. I'm not good at any other games. Like, not good at Mortal Kombat, and I'm not good at Soul Calibur. I used to be actually decent at Soul Calibur, though. <laughs> I would imagine you're pretty good at Tekken, so. Fight. Like, I, mine was Taki, so, like, mine was just, like, straight up just doing the same. Not the same thing, but I was, like, a flow chart. If I got the one thing on you, I'll get the next thing, and then. Just keep going that way. Oh, I see. At least the Tekken scene will be good over in Japan, too, man. Yeah, they love Tekken over there. Oops. Dead, I think. I'm alive. Oh, that was the I did the stupidest, <laughs> slowest Round move two. ever, dude. Ugh. Fight. Oof. <laughs> and I mean, and I wish Tekken was more popular around here. Like, your odds are you're gonna find like a Smash tournament around here way before you find any other game. Tekken is pretty popular, actually. Um, it just you guys just gotta be able to find the right region. Oh yeah. And like with this latest update, I don't even know what patch they're on for this game. But uh, <laughs> they help the uh, matchmaking out. KO. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I, in my opinion, they already had a pretty strong sync Fight. when it came to like syncing up the matches together. Like, uh, that's how I felt. More than so than like Dragon Ball. Right. When they sync in this game, it takes like fucking five minutes. It actually, feels like you're actually syncing. Oh, I tried to duck some shit. <laughs> I want to duck a high and sweep. No, 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 no. Ooh, nice toe punch. Take out the toes. Yeah, but I mean, I've been off and on playing this game for mad years. Whenever you picked it up, I was like, I wonder how long it's going to take. And then I was going through that whole playing Tekken like two times a week. 
Yeah. And it was like easy to see how good you were getting really quickly. It took me like, I, don't, I think it took me like a month to get, to get like decent at the game. Uh, but I was really playing it. Like I love this game. I still do. I'm just having a little bit more fun with Dragon Ball right now because of the changes. Plus you had really good friends and wrote like in a you know locally that you do that were really good at this game too. So that really helped. Me. Yeah, that's true. That does help a lot. Ooh, I did not block that. I thought my range was gonna be out. She super reached up for that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> the blue stuff, baby. Yo. I still don't even use it all like that. I probably should use it more. Well, I I don't know about what what Lily's is, but Oscar's is really good. It's really good in combos too. It gives you it's... so much damage. Yeah, for Lilies, it's really easy to do. I remember that. I know the like the red shit's really fucking easy to do, and it fucks me up. Because it's literally just back in R2. Well, my R2. Which is a uh, 3 plus 4. And it's like, fuck. You accidentally fuck up a quarter circle, and just hit back in 3 plus 4. Yeah, you're going in red shit. The, most, the worst time, I bet. Supreme block. That's what was weird about this game, because they added that shit to this game. So, it's new to right. me, like, this kind of shit. And, like, the whole, you get to pick your side, like, that was never a real thing back in the day. Like, you just had to learn, all, like, now when people are like, all right, I gotta practice my combos on the right and the left, I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, it's different. I'm like, no, it's fucking not. It's the same thing. I was like, oh, your generation's spoiled. <laughs> we never got to pick our side. Like it was just right. whatever. You everybody wanted left, but you rarely got that shit. Rarely. If you did, the you're only like, game too for me where it's like the sides actually matter for me because of this. I never played any other Tekken, so like I'm just used to being able to pick my side. You know what I mean? Ooh, nice down. I know that string now. I know that string. Wow. Now I get to change it up. Fight. Ooh. Oh, that's right, my punish, I remember now. And see, like a game like this, like, I used to get into it so much because one of my friends growing up, he used to play with me too. So, like, I always had someone to play online with, and then Tekken right, Revolutions, right. which was free. And you know, it's like Fortnite. If it's fucking free, it's gonna have a million people playing it. Fight. It was great. And then when Tekken 7 came out, I was like, finally, they came out with another fucking Tekken. And it almost, like, in didn't insta-die, but it, you could tell when, like, a game's popular. Like a Dragon Ball. Or, like, a, like even, like, Street Fighter. You can get that, like, that popularity. Definitely Street Fighter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get on at any time, and their matchmaking's good as fuck. What the f <laughs> no, I'm dead? Nah. Oh. Oh, nice. Good low. Ankle clips. That's the best Round part about four. this game. It's just like, someone's Fight. always gonna run up and do that shit. Just. Ah. I did the punishment wrong. I did the punish. Ooh. Whoa. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Ooh. That move is so good. Ooh. You lose. Did you ever? So I know you you dabble with King. Did you ever dabble with any other characters or wanna? Uh, I, I I could play Noctis a little bit. <laughs> I think anyone I like can play him, Noctis a little bit. He's so whack. Yeah, he's, he's annoying. It's but it's like one of those things like if you can swallow your pride and play him, it's like a GT Goku. If you can swallow your pride and just yeah, everyone's gonna laugh at you and point and say you're a piece of shit. But if you can get past that, he's really, really fun. Like, bonus don't give a I, fuck. Like, you can call bonus a spammer. He'll raw level three in your face every time he gets three bars. He don't care. He's like, yep. Like, fight me, bitch. <laughs> Seriously, right? Yeah, I picked I picked Noctis for all the obvious reasons, too. Like, yeah. weeb reasons. Like, oh, dude, he's the anime character. I'm yep. picking him. But yeah, I play uh, Noctis a little bit, and I'm trying to learn Steve right now. But yeah, Steve's Steve is kind of complicated. See, lately on Tuesdays, I've been doing these random team Tuesday or not random team Tuesdays, but like, uh, pick my team bullshit, and like, no, I don't think so. 
And like, uh, since I've been playing all these teams the same time, uh, it got me it got me a whole lot better at random characters in, in Dragon Ball Fighters than it is in this game, where like I've only played Lily, like a little bit of Yoshi Mitsu. Oh my god, I'm plus. Round two. Team sucks. I'm over it. Fight. Ah. There we go. Keep my range. Ooh, see, I keep trying to get lows and come in quick, and that's exactly what happened. And so, like, a game like Tekken that I've been playing a long fucking time, I'm actually not as good as I am with Dragon Ball with the, the whole... I was like, maybe I can delay it. Dead. What? <laughs> Yo, I gotta get the fuck up, bro. Find the ground three. for it. Alright, here it is. Fight. The comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Hey, come back. I've been here. Not the press. Ooh, I thought I could block. Did not have enough time. Let me get tech roll. Oh, no. Grab it. Ooh, I missed that opportunity. Ooh, I was trying to launch. Oop, that was bad news. Oh, I dropped it. Boop! Oh, I died for this. <laughs> oh, oh, I should have known. It did oh, not look God. like a low. It did not Round look like a low at all. God. That's why. Fight. Oh, what the Oh shit. Right, right into that launch. Nope. Yeah, you cancel it and shit. Lost it does. But it was um great. Cause like the one day I was playing Tekken, of course it was gonna be my first random team a random uh, variety stream shit. I was happy I was able to play Tekken and you were able to come in and Simus and you and Simus are pretty much the only two people I know that play Tekken anymore. Yeah. I mean, you always get mad. I'll, I'll fuck Simon up. I don't care. He, he gets some king shit off now and then, but. Well, he's like in Europe, right? So yeah, kinda, he, he gets flustered hard. by frames, though. I keep like the lag. I'm like, dude, the lag's the same for both of us, though. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> right, right. Oh, you went for a mid? Okay. <laughs> you I can. I had to mix it up a little bit, man. You read me like a buck and shit. Oh, I went to go, I went to low parry there. Fuck. And I wish kind of, I wish Dragon Ball ran like Tekken did in the background. Like, I can do things and it won't cut the audio off like it does in Dragon Ball. Like, I can seamlessly do things that Yeah. Well, I, you know, Tekken's a, Tekken, like, I hate to say it, but Tekken has more money. Yeah, uh, I mean, Dragon. well, it's still Bandai Namco, technically. Like, well, I guess it's Division. Yeah, I meant, like, Tekken's been around for, what, like 15, 20 years now? So there's just, like, you know, there's just obviously more... It's It picked up more money so I think there's, like, 10 Tekkens total. You get the 7, you know, the 1 through 7, then you get the 2 Tekken two tags, tags, and then you got Tekken yeah. Revolution, which was on PS3. That was the free version of the game that they actually did a really good job just putting out a free version. I think it was like more for like publicity, and uh, they had like a, a gotcha system for it, which was pretty cool. Hey, you want to go for a ride? Ooh. Ooh, I did it too late. I want to go lower on you. Weep, boom. Nice. Boom, two hands. Round two. But I thought about switching Fight. off Lily before, but it's like it's been too long. I like her. Like I can literally pick her up in like any season, kind of like feel out my old combos and see what works and doesn't work. Yeah, I feel that. I'm supposed to be down low. I didn't turn my back. Ooh. White shit. Ooh. Reverse. Oh, I didn't block that. Ah, 
I didn't mean. I thought you were gonna do a high punch again, so I was gonna go for a low crush. <laughs> Fight. Oh, my core sucker got eaten. Oh, gotta get. Ooh, that must just be bad on whiff, man. <laughs> like super negative on whiff. It's definitely one of those games where like it doesn't it's kind of like Mortal Kombat where it doesn't always get like the, the respect it deserves like uh like I, I don't really like to play Mortal Kombat or Injustice because they feel slow to me yeah. but then you watch a pro play it and all of a sudden it's like holy fuck this game looks smooth as fuck yeah you can do all this shit in this game <laughs> yeah what's well, like Tekken it feels the same way like a lot of people look at Tekken like it's a complicated game well I mean, it kind of is being the only 3D fighter that I would say is legitimate. Again, Soul Calibur is legit, but not like, say, Tekken and legitimacy. Right, right, right. I didn't fall for it. Oh, shit, I did. Damn. Drop it. Oh, my God. Come on, kick! Thank you. Oh. <laughs> kick the bitch! Kick the bitch! That's all. I just oh, I kept thinking about it. Dumbass combo <laughs> fight. Ooh, oh, Ooh. Ooh, okay. oh let's go. The hitbox. I was cursed. Ooh. Aww. Ooh, how was that? How was that? Nice, bro. That was nice. That was good. You lose. All sweaty? Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I like the Switch. We're over here. A little bit of Dragon Ball, a little bit. Because there's really, like I said, there's no one else I could play this game with me on here. Everyone else, I would just be like a fucking mauling. It wouldn't even be worth it. Like, even if I, like, one of these videos I would do with Simon C, be like, wanna play Tekken? Nah, I'm, nah. <laughs> nah. Cause you're gonna get mad talking yeah, I about flames. The first or some time shit. I played you, I, the first time I played you in second was it was a mauling. I was like, damn, dude, what the fuck is Lily doing? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I had no idea what she did. No, she gets she she's kind of she's not as bad as Hit, as in the whole like nobody touches that character factor. But yeah, that's not no Jin. It's not no fucking Steve or Paul. I mean, so a lot of these motherfuckers oh, are like, dude. whoa. And people are like, you shouldn't do that. That snake edge, it's so negative. I'm like, bro, then tell people stop getting hit by the fucking shit. And I'll stop fucking doing it. Yeah, that's, that's my philosophy second. I keep doing shit until it stops working. Like, show me that you can handle it. If you can't handle it, I'm gonna cheese you the whole way. But a lot of it's experience. Like, that quarter circle forward I do, where it, like, it beams the punch up. And, like, nobody will get hit by the second one. You know what I mean? Right. It's kind of like a delay. Like, that's from experience and just playing. Knowing that, like, some people will try to punish me there, and then they just get themselves punished by punishing me. Like, it's not, it's not definitely not a fame trap. But. Round two. That was my back. Fight. <laughs> and plus, playing a lot of different people online, like, I'm the certified net warrior, man. Like, yeah, a lot of people are like, I listen to these kids now. Like we were in a, I was watching Bum's tournament, and it was his first uh, PC tournament. And there's so many people like, oh my god, anything after four frames is unplayable. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, you spoiled ass motherfucking kids, bro. Like, KO. Like, you think. Yeah, those are the, uh, yeah. Like, even watching, who was I watching? Fight. I think it was, it was, uh, Shadow Dust Toasty. And like a one bar popped up on his screen. He was like, "Oh no, 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 no!" Like, there's no fucking way. I'm like, "Yo, I'll take that shit in a heartbeat." Like, <laughs> I wouldn't even think about it. I'm like, yep. "You're a masochist, bro. I can never take that shit." Yep. I was instantly, nope. I nope the fuck out of there instantly. Dude, I'll take that shit. Well, like I always tip any fight. Like, there's people from Brazil that I'll fight. I don't give a shit. If it's bad for me, it's bad for them. That's true. So I take it like that. And if anything, I have the advantage because I know my shit. I know my frames on my PC is going to work. I know my internet's not shit. So even if I... There's probably a slight advantage I might have over them. 
But I'm also in the middle of everyone, so like if I'm playing with a West Coaster, I'm playing from some of the EU. I'm right in the middle of the East Coast. I return that. Drop this. Oh, no. I was like, this is smooth. Yeah, the big yes! Old big old you went for the fucking big, Final big, big round. play. Love it. Fight. But your, 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 your clips were from three years ago. You don't look anything like you do now, bro. Just so you know that. Like, you don't at all. Like, I, I wouldn't even know you were the same person. Oh, really? Yeah. I had, like, dreads and shit. Yeah, like, your hair was slicked back. More so. Like, it was still semi-long. It actually looked like short hair at first. You were wearing like you oh, were yeah. wearing like the bro tank. You were oh my god. I was about to say I better not get hit by that shit. <laughs> You're all day with the fucking Miyagi stance and shit. This ain't no fucking karate kid. Fuck out of here. Wax on, wax off, brother. Crane kicked that shit somewhere else. But yeah, it was. Yeah, I forgot. I used to have I used to have long ass hair, dude. I would mm -hmm. wear a hat or I would slick it back so it looked like I had long hair at all. And now you have like that blonde white kind of highlight to it. Where yeah, before I have it was just straight dark straight hair. Straight K-pop hair now. Yep. And you were, you were wearing the the shirt with the the t-shirt with the arms cut off. Not not <laughs> not the bro tanks that you be rocking now, but the you know the muscle muscle shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so yep, actually it's five five right now. So this actually is the tiebreaker. My five wins oh, versus your five oh, wins. Okay. So this be the final match. Round one. All right. Fight. Back up. That's that two parter I was talking about. I think there might actually been music. I don't think I turned the music on. That's probably why it's been so damn quiet. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I was like, I thought there was music in Tekken. Ooh, that down. There tech. definitely is. <laughs> yep, so I definitely didn't turn that shit on. This is from streaming. KO. <laughs> I don't know why that's my favorite grab. Round it's more two. hard to do and Fight. other than just doing that one. Even though that one kinda looks cool. Oh, nice. Oh, I was gonna do my own sneak edge. I thought it was gonna be like a kick. What? <laughs> I caught you incoming. <laughs> I figured you were gonna be incoming, so I was like, hmm, maybe I can anticipate it. If not, I was gonna be super wide open. Go, go, go. Okay. No. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a low. I, I felt the low. Round three. Felt the low coming. Belly it wasn't hot. Oof. Too long ago. Ooh. This is a lot of damage. Under the wall. Tech roll, bitch. Oh, oh, oh. What? Yeah, we're ready for that. Beat that? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, no. Under the wall we go. Oh, I expected you to come running in right after I whipped that. Oh, I round. waited. I waited. I was like, I got hit with that twice this round. <laughs> round four. Not gonna get punished with it a last time. No. Oh, shit. I forgot how small it is. Oh, I tried to duck it. Woo! That was so good. I don't know. I'm gonna stab like Nice block. Damn, super neg. Oh, negative. Oh. No, 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 no. I definitely <laughs> fucked up the grab on that. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Very fucking nice, you man. Lose. Fuck yeah. Very. So, five wins for me. Six wins for you. Six. Between the two close. games, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. It was close. Fucking two good games. ass time, man. Appreciate you coming in here fighting with me, dude. Talking, hanging oh, out. Oh yeah, soon. for sure. Thanks for inviting me, man. I had a, I had a good, 
you know, you had some interesting questions, and I love talking. So yeah, definitely good shit, dude. Definitely. And like the fights were good earlier with Dragon Ball, and even better. Like I think it turned into more of a mind game once we switched over to this. Dragon oh yeah, Ball this game is like definitely more heady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I'll definitely catch you soon, and uh, thanks again. All right, brother. Peace, bro. Appreciate, it, man. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed the fights. We had some uh, new things with the audio going. We tried something new. And we kind of started trying to work the bugs and the kinks out of it, man. But uh, Perfect is a great fucking guy, man. And uh, the things that are happening coming up in his life are just super awesome. I can't fucking wait to hear about it, man. Hopefully in December, everything fucking works out for him. And he's and he's able to you know, take that trip over to Japan and kind of like start the next kind of crazy chapter in his life. You know what I mean? So we had some great fights on DBFZ, and, and surprisingly some on Tekken, like I, I'm hoping that nobody really expected Tekken fights, I thought it was pretty fun. I forgot to put the background music on in Tekken, like the in-game music, but it was still really really good man. <laughs> and they got tense man, they got real tense, and every time me and Perf Dirk fight on Tekken man, that shit gets real tense, cause we know each other pretty fucking well fighting. I fought Perfect Dirk many, 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 many times, but that was the first time we actually got to talk, man. It, it was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, man, we worked out the, the next BO10 video. Uh, you guys love him and know him. Uh, Shadow Dust Toasty. Hell yeah, man. It's going to be an awesome video. I can't wait to do the fights with him and bullshit with him. And uh, I hope to see you guys there. Until next time, YouTube fam. Peace.